Hello, here's my Python uh, program. So, uh, what I did was I tried to mimic a mass, like a block on a spring that's compressed, and then once you let go, how it uh, oscillates up and down. And so what I did was I I um, got the information for the spring, so L not here is equal to 4. So what that is is the length of the spring um, when it's not compressed. And then my L vec here is the length of this the compressed spring um, in the direction. And then L hat is the unit vector for L vec. And then my spring constant here is uh, 7. For the stiffness, I'm sorry. And then I have the uh, initial momentum as uh, zero because I'm uh, imagining someone holding on to the the mass or the mass um, while it's on the block being pushed down is at rest until the person lets go. The block is 1.3 uh, let's say kilograms, and the gravity vector is negative uh, 9.8. Newtons. Um, and then I set my time to zero and the delta t is 0.1 seconds and that's going to be uh, my time iteration. Then down here I have my spring and uh, I set it at the position zero. Um, then the axis just means how tall the spring is so it goes up to a height of 3 and the radius is 0.5 etc. So uh, then I have a, a block that's on top of the spring and then the track is just um, like the baseboard of the spring. And if we go down I have a while loop and it goes to 10 seconds. It's a little long but I liked my results when I ran it. So then to slow down like the spring oscillating I uh, put the rate at 100. The rest is just updating uh, the velocity and the position in the uh, force net. So I increase my time so I'm not, you know, I don't infinitely loop through this. And then I get the, uh, the force of gravity, so like the force um, Earth, that's what I called it. Then I get the magnitude of my L vector. And I find out what my spring force is, and then down here I get my force net, um, which the force of, the, of gravity never changes. And then I uh, figure out my momentum by using the momentum uh, update formula, and then I set the initial momentum to the new momentum I just found, uh, and then I get the velocity, and uh, that I just divide by the, the mass of the block uh, and then I update the position and then I uh, set the new positions for the spring in the block. So let's see what happens when I run this. There you go. You saw the block moving up and down. And that's my video.